this is all about. Uh, the last question, uh, even about education. Education is a countermeasure, right? Uh, the issue is learning. Uh, the question before that was about culture. And one of the things we know now is not about national culture. Uh, Jim talked about that. I certainly thought it was back in the 70s when I first went off looking for a national culture answer in Japan. Uh, and we found out over the years that that's uh, not the case. But it is very much a matter of corporate or organizational culture. And what's the core of that corporate or organizational culture? Uh, it is learning. That is what it's all about. So thinking about how, how all these things fit together um, is a reason that we uh, work together with you uh, as a community. Hopefully we provide some value uh, along the way. I just wanted to kind of ground us in where we are uh, in this uh, two-day learning journey uh, that we're on here together. And then just kind of kick us off to the, uh, the rest of the evening. Uh, that's my purpose here, These uh, this about 10 minutes. So here's what we're looking at in these four days. A lot of things going on, a lot of wonderful learning sessions. It's so great, and thanks again to all the people, the instructors, faculty who are here leading those. Um, the faculty themselves are very upset that they couldn't go to the others because they're teaching you know, every time. Uh, and there's a lot of really interesting content in these. Uh, and I'll uh, remind you, as Josh told us this morning, uh, that these are all going to be available, right, Josh? Uh, for people to, he's not listening. Uh, for people to be able to, uh, to, to, to download and, and view later. But these are the main ones that we've, we've uh, uh, pulled up uh, for us this year. Every year we choose four organizations to kind of highlight. Never saying that they're perfect, including Toyota, okay? Uh, absolutely not perfect. Uh, that's not the point. The point is by looking at these organizations, we can learn what, through seeing what they're doing, we can learn by ourselves. That's what this, uh, this is indeed all about. So you to kind of so this is fundamentals and frontiers, I think. So uh, to, I can't actually use lean startup because that's trademark, I think. Is that right? So we can't say lean is a startup. Uh, and that's where we've uh, have used Toyota as a reference model for things that humans are really trying to learn. It's not just about one company copying that. This is something humans have been trying to do ever since we put ourselves into organizations. Uh, we're at a certain point here in 2015 along that journey, and we're going to continue in the future. But Lean is a startup. We use that term. I did begin there. And uh, from there to how this is playing out in nonprofits, retail, the technical world. So, what tying these together this year is those are all matters of looking at the fundamentals, the basics, and how that leads us to frontier kind of activities, but frontier thinking as well. Lean thinking is changing. Uh, the fundamentals don't change by any means, but, they, but the application, the way we then use those to think about the world and the world's problems does change. It advances, we certainly hope it does. And all based on a certain kind of purpose. That's why it's great to have LaTondra, the Toyota, folk, Toyota folks today, talking about the company in terms of how it's revisiting its purpose. That's the tie-in with what these nonprofits are doing as well. There's a tie-in in terms of the tools and techniques the fact that by, as, as Margaret said, by being more efficient, we're able to express greater love for the communities we're part of. I mean, who used to think of things that way? But that's exactly what they're doing. St. Bernard Project as well. Tomorrow, then, we're going to change gears a little bit. We're going to look at two uh, examples that are more kind of frontier applications of Lean, but also they're companies that are thinking about their purpose. Right? Lean in retail, Kroger, massive, massive company, bigger than you probably realize it is. <coughs> And they're going back and looking at the detail of how work takes place at the individual level. And then Menlo Innovations with uh, Rich uh, with Rich Sheridan, uh, uh, Rich Sheridan, who many of you may have met before, uh, who looks at how I can make a company that is joyful, and through by having a company that is joyful, employees who are experiencing joy every day can bring joy to their customers and to their communities. So that's all really cool. And where does Link go from here? As Jim and Dan were just, uh, excuse me, as Jim and Mark were just uh, uh, taking us through. I'd like to invite you as you continue to engage in these sessions, to please jot down your thoughts and have them ready for tomorrow afternoon. What I do with these uh, kind of concluding sessions tomorrow is I kind of put it together on the fly, synthesize what's going on, and try to come up with something that's relevant to the learning that's taking place. For the to the dialogue. So I've got some leftover question cards here from the dialogue that just occurred. I'd invite you to use the little notebooks that we handed out to you to write things down 
and to be thinking about what you would like to uh, discuss tomorrow afternoon. For example, we've been talking a lot about this transformation model. Uh, we showed the uh, uh, animation this <coughs> I want to uh, be sure and let you know, or remind you, that's a draft, that's a first draft. Uh, we wanted to show it to you first, uh, so you could have a chance to actually give us some feedback. Uh, we know that there's some changes that we want to make, but it does capture the way we're thinking about this important issue of transformation, of how things change, how things change in desired directions at both the organizational level uh, and also the personal level. So this is kind of what I'm thinking about talking about tomorrow afternoon was transformation that gets to the organizational state of things, and that's what that model is really about. We've talked about that a lot today, but also personal, and how that relates to an organizational and personal sense of purpose. Think change that is lasting, that becomes embedded, uh, comes down to this kind of issue, perhaps. Mark showed this this morning, and it is wonderful to be in New Orleans to get away from the, uh, the cold and the snow that's been in, uh, in Boston. And that's not the only reason that it's wonderful to be in New Orleans. This is an amazing city. I haven't been here in quite a long time. Uh, it's changed a bit. I haven't been here since Katrina. Uh, so it's 